Well, cancer cells that have been uh, uh, compromised and then they they, uh, they replicate themselves very, very quickly yeah. as uh, ultimately cause a lot of harm. <laughs> That's a big question. If I knew how cancer worked, I'd be uh, working a different job. Uh, a very little bit, yes. I, I would say yes. I think it's the biggest killer in the developed world. It gets inside your cells and like replicates uh, your, your cell exactly. uh, structure and uh, yeah, become cancerous and then spreads and something like that. It's uh, cell spreading. There are different parts of cancer, except for lung, brain, chest, or blood cancer. DNA proliferates slightly. Um, it's like the cells multiply too fast and it can't be controlled. Yeah, it's when the cells start uh, multiplying out of control. Uh, I know, I think it's like uh, all of a sudden in dysfunctional in your body? Um, I guess like not really, honestly, if I had to, yeah, like maybe if I had to explain it to you, I probably couldn't, but on an intuitive level, like I'd like to maybe think that I understand <laughs> it. I think it depends on the person. Some people would like to know that information. Some people don't. Uh, it's just to some degree, yes. Do you think it's important to be aware of your family's history? Boy, do I, yes. Yes. I think it's important. Yeah, it's uh, one of the. That's a pretty important. The factors, isn't it? One of the top uh, pre predispositions, a genetic disposition to, to cancer. One of the red flags, I guess. I would say there's importance to know in terms of precursors. If you know your family has it, maybe you take a different lifestyle approach to try to reduce your risk of it happening to you. Well, it is very relevant. Exactly. Well, I knew, for example, unfortunately, my grandma had a liver cancer back in the day. Is it? I know it, sometimes it can be, how do you say, hereditary? Hereditary is perfect, yes. yeah. So, technically, we should check that out because I think, like, if your parents don't get it, you might still get it because we all, like, the mix it. Yes, sometimes it jumps from one generation to another. I mean, it's like, really important, right? Because at the end of the day, all these things usually are passed down, you know, generally, generationally, right? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, if you have an awareness of your family's history related to cancer or heart disease or anything like that, it just puts you in a better position to, I guess, be uh, proactive in handling your health as well. I'm not to the extent of genomics. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, like like a lot of families in Canada, we have a we have history of cancer in our family, and so there's been some some discussions about history. But that's where that's about as far as it comes. Um, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's probably a good thing to do, I guess. Yeah, no, you... yeah actually, I took part in a. Uh, um... Um, what is it, BC Generations Project? And, oh, really? Um, so I'm still, you know, they, they, so as far as being private, they're helping themselves to my medical history. So, um, and I figured that was, I think that they did a, a genetic thing, whether, well, about cancer, whether it's, you know, I, I believe, well, I don't know, it's like family history is full of it, but I'm not sure that it's, uh, I think, whether yeah, it's family. lifestyle choice. I personally have it. Likewise.